Hey everybody, so your campaign is about to go live and uh, in a couple days and so you want to create, of course, new Facebook ads for your live campaign. Uh, the first thing you want to do, of course, is press the green create button over here. And this time you want to select the sales objective, no matter what, uh, because uh, you can track the purchases in Kickstarter. So make sure to, of course, insert your your pixel into your pixel id into your kickstarter uh, project in the kickstar dashboard and get that all hooked up um, but once you've done that yeah select sales press continue and we're just going to call this uh you know live um cold traffic uh, uh uh, live campaign ads um, and uh, you don't need to once again change anything here so it's going to call live campaign ads uh, we're going to go into the hierarchy tree the ad set this one's going to be called uh, you know um, live USA uh, and then the audience name chaos and reading uh, this is going to be to a website conversion event however this time it's gonna be a purchase. Uh, the budget. Um, so this one's gonna be twenty dollars a day. Uh, basically, how we come up with that number is so like uh, this client. Um, we have uh, three audiences and a look-alike audience. Okay, so that's uh, and we have. A Budget of three thousand, but we're gonna reserve some for remarketing and stuff. So, two thousand five hundred. Divide that by thirty day campaign equals eighty bucks. Eighty divided by four audiences, twenty dollars per audience. Okay. So uh, then we're gonna set the start date to tomorrow at five o'clock p.m. Paris time, which is eleven a.m. Eastern New York time. Um, now for the audience, uh, we're going to select a saved audience and we're going to select uh, the KS and reading audience. Um, now this is all set up the way we need it to be. Uh, and, uh, okay. Going to the ad itself. We're going to call this live, uh, KS reading and then, uh, oops, sorry. USA, KS reading, and then the, the name of the ad. This one's going to be bolt list. Okay, and so then I'm going to turn off multi advertiser ads. Now let's get into adding the image. That's strange, I don't see them there. There we go. Okay. Um, add in the images. Okay, this one. Make sure the crop's the original. The tall, tall story. Let's slide this back in. Original crop. And then this one will be also that. Uh, original crop. All good. Press next. Um, make sure no music. Thank you. Uh, press done. That's all done there. Okay, and now under primary text. Uh, so let's go into the, the original ad to copy it over. So this is the bullet list ad. Let's uh, scroll down to the primary text. Go into the new one, paste it in. Do the same with the headline. And uh, okay, um, now in the campaign launch guide here, I'm gonna have some templates that you can uh, add into the primary text, the description text, and the display link. Uh, so um, under the description, a common one is see it in action on Kickstarter. 
Once again, I'm going to leave the call to action button as learn more. Now the website URL is the same as your pre-launch page, you know, where they can press, you know, follow here. Uh, so when they get to this URL link, when the campaign's live, it's going to instead display the, the campaign page. Uh, and so um, I'm going to put that on the website URL. And then I'm going to do uh, kickstar.com slash trending as the display link. Okay, and now this is all set up, I believe. Yeah, it looks good. Okay, <clears throat> so now I'm going to press quickly duplicate. And we're going to call this one video because this was another winning ad of ours. Uh, so we're going to do add media, add video, add in this customization video, crops all good, next, no enhancements, great, that's how I want it. Um, and now we're going to copy in once again the primary text. Okay, that's all good. Uh, description, yep, yep. Yep, all looks good. Um, yep, all right. Uh, and I want to do, now I'm going to do one additional one though that didn't exist before. And in this one, we're going to slide in the actual Kickstarter trailer. Uh, and so this produces a seamless experience. So they see the ad on Facebook, and it's going to be the Kickstarter trailer, right? And so when they click that ad, they get to the Kickstarter page, and they can continue watching the trailer right there, or uh, scroll down and, and read about the, the project. Uh, so this creates like a really consistent, streamlined experience between the ad and the Kickstarter page, which is generally very effective, um, especially with remarketing audiences, which we're going to get into in a different video. So I'm going to press add video. Let's throw in this trailer. All right, crops all good. Next, done. No enhancements, golden. All right, now let's hook in the other audiences. So we're going to press quickly duplicate on the ad set. Call this uh, visual novel. And uh, we're going to exchange this for the other saved audience. Uh, and let's rename these ads to be organized. I'm going to change the name to include the new audience name. And uh, okay, now that that's set up, let's, we're going to have to do it one more time. And this is going to be called Dragon Age. Scroll past. Okay, Dragon Age. And, uh, oh, wait. Wait a second. That went down here. Okay. Uh, and then we're going to, once again, stay organized. Let's rename these. Okay, um, so now that this is done, this is all technically good to go. Uh, let's get into lookalike audiences. So I'm going to close out this one without publishing yet. And uh, I'm going to go into the audience dashboard here on the left. So I'm going to go there. And uh, sometimes this is a bit tricky. Uh, I'm going to press, uh, click the checkbox on website visitors, then press the dot, dot, dot here. Right, you see that? And then press uh, create lookalike. And uh, let's see, that, that didn't want to work. Um, I'm not 100% sure why that didn't work. So I'm just going to, let's do this the other way. So we're going to press create audience, the blue button. Press lookalike. Uh, this is a little buggy for some reason. Oh my, that was really buggy. Right, so let's create a new source. Use it. Okay. So this is one way to ensurely do it. So we're going to press create a new source. 
in custom audience. We're going to press your the website. We're going to basically create a whole new custom audience here. Retention time, 90 days. This would be uh, website visitors, 90 days of uh, lookalike, LAL. And we're going to create just for that. Okay, now we want to press create a lookalike. Um, and then we're going to select the location for this new lookalike as United States. Uh, we only want to use like 1%, that, that's kind of fine, uh, 2.8 million. Um, maybe if your budget's really huge, like, um, let's say, uh, if you want, we're going to spend more than $20,000 on this, maybe you can try doing a 2%. I don't really, uh, it's just going above 1% or 2%, so if we just say uh, 1%, that's fine. Now I'm going to press create audience. This is, uh, this is all you need to do. Okay, and now it's just going to be called lookalike US 1%. It, it automatically generates the name for you. Okay, let's go back into campaigns. Let's go into this new thing we created. Now um, press the edit button to get back into the editor. Let's quickly duplicate once again. We're going to call this LAL. This is the LAL audience. All right, and uh, we're going to use um, a custom audience of the lookalike. Oh, I'm sorry. We're going to set, so we're going to set this as a new audience and set the lookalike as the custom audience. All right, under custom audiences. Uh, change the location to United States. Um, the aid range is going to be 25 to 39, I believe. Uh, actually, I believe this one is, is age 19 to 39. Um, genders is all. And make sure, even if you're using a lookalike, you want to add Kickstarter into the interests. Okay. Um, and then, let's to, to be uh, organized here, we're just going to rename the ads real quick. Okay. Um, and now let's just double check our work. I want to make sure the uh, schedule is correct. Yep, this is all right. Kickstar age, United States. Like United States. Da -da -dum. Okay. Now this is all set up. Uh, well, you just press publish. And uh, that's kind of all there is to uh, setting up the new ads. In the next video, we're going to talk about remarketing ads for your live campaign, where you retarget people who have already viewed uh, both your Kickstarter page and your, your website, your landing page. And you can send them ads again, including your leads and your, your previous VIPs. Um, and these, these people have already been exposed to your messaging and they have much higher chance of converting even if those audiences are substantially small um, if you have any questions please uh, feel free to contact me either by email or in the discord club community uh, you can access those from the launch strategy planner and uh, i wish you a wonderful day